all right so we we are here mm, uh, to see this particular question look at this question define a coordinate bond define a coordinate bond okay so <coughs> and uh, you, you know coordinate bond is also known as what we we also call it what dedip bond so maybe the question uh, they can put like this define a dedip bond okay so this is what a dedip dedip bond okay okay dedip bond and give the conditions for its formation okay <coughs> so what is the condition we will see it okay so first see what is this coordinate bond okay coordinate bond so basically the the coordinate bond or dedip bond is the special case of it's a special case of covalent bond special case of what covalent bond so first we will see what covalent bond okay through an example okay uh, suppose we take what nh3 okay suppose we take what nh3 okay so uh, first uh, uh, you can draw the structure of this nh3 ammonia w what is this n has what five valence electron so this one is five this is the lewis symbol of nitrogen five valence electron uh, <coughs> uh, okay around uh, this particular nitrogen and you have what three hydrogen each hydrogen has what one electron each hydrogen has what one electron and uh, this hydrogen needs one electron to achieve its nearest noble gas configuration and this nitrogen needs what three more electrons to achieve its nearest noble gas configuration that is the configuration of neon so wh what will happen okay this this will share this electron from this this will share this electron from this and th this will share this electron from this okay and and this is for this is for nitrogen okay this is for nitrogen okay so you can see in this case in this case what about the sharing taking place between this hydrogen between this hydrogen and between this nitrogen okay this sharing is what this is what mutual sharing this is what your mutual sharing mutual sharing means what mutual sharing means what simple one electron from this hydrogen and one electron from this uh, nitrogen okay so this is what mutual sharing like like suppose if you have uh, if there are two guys okay suppose the two guys okay so and uh, <coughs> suppose this is what and they want to shake hand okay so one hand from this guy and one hand from this guy okay so this is what your this is what your mutual sharing and this is this is what you you can say it like it's a covalent bond okay this is like a covalent bond okay now um <coughs> we are talking about what dedip bond so what does it mean this dedip bond okay so first we will see this particular definition okay see this uh, definition okay and uh, this definition okay so see this definition look at this in the formation of a simple covalent bond each atom supplies one electron to the bond look at this particular example nitrogen is supplying one electron and hydrogen is supplying one electron for this bond for this bond and this is what your covalent bond okay but that doesn't have to be the case a coordinate bond also called a dative covalent bond is a covalent bond is a covalent bond as i said you it's a special case of covalent bond a shared pair of electrons in which both electrons both electrons come from the same atom okay what does it mean so uh, i'm just giving you one example okay <coughs> and from that example we can conclude the condition for its formation okay so suppose let's take an example first i am explaining it with an example and then we will see the conditions okay 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 so uh, i'm just uh, taking one example okay i'm just taking one example okay so suppose let's take an example of nh4 positive let's take an example of nh4 positive okay so this is what what is happening how it forms basically what look look at this this is what your n and this is what your this is what your uh, this is what your one bond h so what your one bond h and this is what your one bond h and these bonds these bonds are forming by what mutual sharing uh, and this this particular pair of electron this pair of electron is basically what this pair of electrons solely belongs to this nitrogen okay so and and this this pair of electron is known as what lone pair of electron so in case of nh3 we have one lone pair of electron and that is associated with this what nitrogen okay 
and in front of this NH3 that is what your ammonia in front of this ammonia you have suppose H plus so H plus that means what it has no electron because H has one electron and if it will it will lose one electron it will form what H plus okay so it, it, it has no electron okay now now what will happen this nitrogen will donate this electron to H plus okay so in this bond in in this bond if you can see this red all these three red bonds okay one electron from nitrogen one electron from hydrogen one electron from nitrogen one electron from hydrogen but in this case in, in this blue bond okay in this uh, the bond in this okay uh, let me okay change the color okay so in this bond you can see that these two electrons are coming from only one atom now go to the definition part which in which both electrons come from the what same atom okay and if now so you can say that now these two electrons are not only the part of this nitrogen uh, now this is this is the part of hydrogen too and this this bond is this bond is called as what coordinate bond this bond is called at what coordinate bond okay coordinate bond okay so i also call as what dedi bond okay so uh, the symbol for this coordinate bond is what this this arrow okay this arrow is the symbol for this coordinate bond okay now what should be the condition so condition you can see condition should be there that means one particular compound or one particular atom should have what lone pair so one should have what lone pair one should have what one should have what lone pair and one is what electron deficient this this h plus h plus is what electron deficient so another one should have what another one another one that is like h plus should have what electron should have electron deficient electron deficient okay so in this case this this particular two electron will be provided by only one atom okay you got this point okay so hope i think uh, this uh, coordinate bond is uh, clear to you just uh, on a lighter note uh, you can understand this particular concept okay from this okay suppose if you have if th there is one guy okay and um, suppose he is happy he has two hands okay and he has two hands and th this particular guy uh, they, they they no hands i mean okay so that's why he is what serious okay so now now if they want to shake hand what is the possibility okay the possibility is that cut this hand this particular guy uh, he is so generous okay so he will cut this hand and when he will cut his this hand and then again it he will provide this hand to this particular what guy okay so this is what now uh, this these two guys are what one one hand and now what they can share okay so this is what happening basically nitrogen is what providing one electron to this what h plus and then they are what sharing electrons okay here it is what sharing is what mutual mutual means what one electron from nitrogen one electron from hydrogen but what in case of dedi bond in case of dedi bond first this nitrogen will provide this electron to this hydrogen and then it will what share okay then it will what share that means we can see that is what this is the case this is the case this is the case nh3 and you have what h plus no electron in in sec in in case this this electron will be provided by this nitrogen to this uh, h plus so what will be the case so this is what your n h and this is what your h and this is what your h okay and now this nitrogen has lost one electron to this h plus so it will achieve what one positive charge and now this hydrogen has what uh, one positive charge it was earlier and it gone it get what one electron from this nitrogen so it will get what negative charge and negative positive what cancel out okay and now now they will what share now they will what share so you can represent this coordinate bond like this also that is what like like this also like uh, nh nh3 and this what h positive or what to do just uh remove this arrow by a line remove this arrow by a line remove this arrow by a line okay and from where arrow is generating put positive charge there okay 
okay okay and from where this arrow is terminating put negative charge okay and this positive negative now cancel out so it will be what nh4 positive okay nh4 positive so here this bond is what your dative bond this bond is what your dative bond okay so now it is clear you can uh, you can see one more example for that like uh, uh, like h3o positive h3o positive okay h3o positive so what basically happening here h2o you know this this h2o you know i think h2o so this is what your h2o has what two uh, this is what your one this is a structure of h okay and this h2 has lone pair and this is what there is what h plus okay so this is what the structure of h2 and this is lone pair and h is what electron deficient so this can provide this electron okay so this is what your h3o positive and this bond is what your dative bond from where this two electron is coming from the same atom that is what your oxygen or the atom which carries what lone pair which carries what lone pair okay so now i think uh, it's clear okay